I'm going to hand it back over to Kent Scove. Here we go. That's how fast it was. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. So now what we have is our great symphony cast. This is our level one rookie group at the LA Connection, one of our beginning groups. Closing out our show today, so we appreciate you guys staying and watching them. Okay. The LA Connection is just right down the street. We're kind of the sister brother of Flappers. If you want to be do improv, you can call Flappers and sign up, and then we'll get you in one of our improv classes at the LA Connection and start performing. Okay, so each one of you needs to get a gripe, and then I will direct you in a gripe symphony. Go ahead. Uh, if I could have something that you really enjoy. What's that? Sex. Sex. All right. Right about sex. All right, a pet peeve that just gets really under your skin. Loud chewing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Something that happens to you every day that you hate. Rudeness. Rudeness. <laughs> What's your favorite thing in the world? Bread. Bread. <laughs> yeah, good one. Something that just makes you so happy. Red wagon. What? Red wagon. Red wagon? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Something you have too much of. Wine. <laughs> How about something that they didn't tell you was going to happen to you when you got older? That you really Arthritis. don't like? <laughs> Arthritis, I think. Arthritis, yeah. okay. Okay, let's repeat what you have. I have sex, chewing, rudeness, bread, red wagon, too much wine, arthritis. Okay, here we go. Ready? SCX sex. I can do it with anybody I want, and if a girl has big boobs, she just slaps me in the face with them. That's not enjoyable. All so I got a new girlfriend, and she is a chewer. Oh my god, I can hear every smack every time she clenches her jaw. It keeps me up at night. I think she sleep chews just to fuck with my head. <laughs> Hamburgers with buns. Who wants them? I don't want a bun. I just want my hamburger without anything. I hate bread. All the calories, all the carbs. It's sweet and delicious, but I hate it. I hate it. They didn't tell me I was gonna have arthritis. How am I supposed to play the violin now? As I get older, it gets harder and harder, and I didn't play that well to begin with. My only friends go to Alcoholics Anonymous. I have no love. All I have is wine. And then I got a DUI, so I can only get around in my red wagon. Wheat <laughs> bread, gluten-free, fuck it. I don't care, I just don't like it. I don't like it. You want to talk about rude? Drivers on the 405 every day just cutting you off left and right when you're going the speed limit. And that's, I'm, what am I supposed to do? It's the speed limit. I'm not trying to get a ticket, and they're cutting me off, and they're flipping me off. It is honestly... So to see if this lip-smacking thing was real, I decided I would duct tape her head after feeding her a large amount of sedatives right about dinner time. And, and then there's so much time, five minutes, an hour. How long do you want, ladies? You want a minute, man, or do you want a freaking marathon? I can't do it by myself. You gotta... I can't even use my hands to open doors. Have you tried to open doors lately? They think those little handles are gonna help when you have arthritis, but... All I do is me. step on grapes all oh, day. I really more can't wine. open those doors. I have nothing. 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 They took my license. Okay, the next piece is called Repeat Performance. So who's in this one today? Okay, Repeat Performance. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're just on a film set, and I didn't like the writer, so we fired him. So now I need a, a new location for the film to take place. Oklahoma. Okay, where in Oklahoma? Oklahoma City. Okay, where in Oklahoma City? Because that's a big city still. Oh, um, like, yeah. a, like a store or... McDonald's. McDonald's. Let's think big. Okay. McDonald's in Oklahoma City. Okay. Here we go, guys. 
I'm so glad to be here in this McDonald's in Oklahoma City. I know, you picked a great location. <laughs> I love this one. You see it's right next to the tumbleweed. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that'll be great for when for when the car chase comes along. We can have the tumbleweed chase the car as it, as it goes along. Let's do that. All right. And what do you think? What should we have over here right next to the register? How many people should Excuse go? Excuse me, are you going to... Are you going to place an order, or are you just going to stand there and talk about the scenery all day? <laughs> Cut. You know what? Let's speed this up a little bit. Can we go a little faster? Same lines? Okay. Here we go. Ready? Action. Oklahoma City. I love Oklahoma City. This is a great location. You picked a great location to film. <laughs> yeah, it's right next to the tumbleweed. Ooh, and we can get the car chase to come rolling around and have the tumbleweed. Chase. Yes, let's do that. All right, okay. what do you... Excuse me, are you going to place an order, or are you just going to stand there and look at the scenery? You know what we need? We need an emotion. Give us an emotion. Hatred. Thank you. Are you the one who said McDonald's? Yeah. You're, you're wonderful over there. Hatred. Are you by yourself? I hope so. Okay. You know. uh, Action. <sighs> Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City. I hate this town. It's this McDonald's in Oklahoma City. In a great location you picked here. Yeah, a great location I picked here. Right by the tumbleweed. Oh yeah, well, we're just gonna have the tumbleweed roll around next to the car chase? That's the dumbest thing ever I've ever heard. Who wants all gonna be over here next to the register? People are gonna order? <sighs> are you gonna place an order or are you just gonna stand here and look at the scenery? Cut. All right, let's do it with an upbeat emotion now. Excitement. <laughs> yeah, this for excitement. Okay, all right, so we're gonna be overexcited for this guy. Okay, ready to go? Action. <laughs> You picked a great, great I know, movie. it's McDonald's right by the streets of the tumbleweed. <laughs> and then and then the tumbleweed can roll and the car chase is going to go roll right through. What are you, you going to place an order or are you just going to look at the scenery? <sighs> All right, that's for me performance. Okay, okay now we're going to bring everybody up here for a game called Challenge. Okay, so in this particular one, it's kind of like philosophy, you know, like uh, you know, are cats better than dogs? You know, are women smarter than men? So I want you to give me some sort of an opposite there, and then they're going to challenge each other on this and kind of see where it morphs and goes. So give me something. Where is Waldo, actually? Well, okay, but I need something versus something. Short and tall people. Okay, is it better to be short or is it better to be tall? Who wants to start this? Summer, why don't you come out and start this? Okay, right here. Okay. Have a nice trip. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, I am actually five, four and a half, and I believe in Challenge. the value. Yes? You're clearly seven feet tall. No, she isn't. Go back. <laughs> okay, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, I am five foot four and a half. Challenge! Half. Yes. You're clearly eight feet tall. No, you're not. Get out of here. <laughs> as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, again, I am five foot four and a half. And I tell you, those five foot and four inches, they mean everything. They mean the world to me. There's nothing better than being a short gal. We get all Challenge. the privileges. Yes. I think it's much better to be tall because then you do not have to wear annoying high heel shoes. That's true. Why don't you tell us about that? You are taller. I think high heels were invented by men to make women suffer because they had a problem with their mothers. It is terrible having to wear high heel shoes. That is why it's so much superior to be a tall woman. Challenge. Yes. It's actually wonderful wearing high heel shoes. I love getting blisters. Yes, oh. let's hear about that. <laughs> so I love getting blisters because I love band-aids and my favorite band-aids are the ones that are glittery. If you haven't seen a glittery band-aid, it's because your parents were too cheap to buy you the expensive ones. Challenge. You probably got the little yes. brown ones. That's bullshit. That is bullshit, Red Everybody Wagon Woman. Knows. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Everyone knows that liquid band-aids are the best. Okay, let's hear about the liquid band-aid, okay. okay? So, like I was saying, liquid band-aids are way better than those old-fashioned band-aids that you put on, because you, you don't have to see it. Challenge. Then, yes. Who cares about band-aids? I care about short men are better in bed. Oh, let's hear about this. <laughs> <laughs> well... Speak about challenges. I'm in Menza, and 
<laughs> she, <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, she, has, she got a challenge you before you. What did you challenge I, I rest my case. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. You know, my sister tried to tell me that she took the men's test, and then she said she scored 200, and I said, Come Challenge. On. Yes. I don't even know what a men's test is. Oh, good. That's, that makes sense. Go ahead and tell us. Yeah. So um, I'm not really sure what a men's test is, but I did take an SAT when I was in high school. I think that's when it was um, to be able to go to college. Yes, yes. What's your challenge? You never finished high school. That's true. We, we know you didn't finish high school. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your resume. None of these people finished high school. I'm the only one here that actually finished high school, you know? And I got the highest SAT score in the whole country. Challenge. Yes. My baby sister got the highest score, and then she married a guy who had the highest score, and I cannot believe they did not have kids. Yeah, didn't you know that? Get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> they met about 20 years ago, and he was an Eagle Scout, and they found out that they both had scored a perfect score on the SAT. Challenge. Yes. What's your challenge? I found out her brother is mentally challenged. Well, I didn't know that. Let's hear about that. I didn't either. I didn't know I had a brother. <laughs> Mentally challenged, as in mentally retarded. That's the new lingo, mentally challenged, mongoloid. She doesn't know what she's talking about. In fact, she's from the Appalachian Mountains. She's a liar. And short men communicate better, and they are much better. Challenge. Yes. Short women actually communicate better than short men. I bet they do. Let's hear about that. Well, obviously, women are better communicators than men to begin with. And then once you're shorter, you kind of have a lot of room to make up for. So you talk a lot, uh, kind of like I do all the time. And uh, with Challenge. talking. Yes. I feel like you don't talk enough. Yeah, you haven't been out here. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> What can I say? That's it. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, that's it. okay, this final game's called 185. It's like puns. So, you know, it's 185 somethings walk into a bar and they're going to turn it into a pun game. So, uh, let's get an occupation. Teacher. 185 teachers walk into a bar, okay? 185 teachers walk into a bar. Bartender says, We don't serve teachers here. And the teacher says, Yeah, I'm going to school you. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. 185 teachers walk into a bar and the bartender says, we don't serve teachers here. And the teachers say, I will test your knowledge. And then if you pass, you can serve us all drinks for free. <laughs> 185 teachers walk into the bar. Bartender says, we don't serve teachers here. The teachers say, I'm gonna give you detention. <laughs> 185 teachers walk into the bar and the bartender says we don't serve teachers here and the teacher says well I'm gonna tell your parents yeah. 185 teachers from West Virginia walk into a bar bar says we don't serve teachers from West Virginia they say that's okay we're on strike yeah. all right so give us another occupation Doctors. 185 doctors walk into a bar. 185 doctors walk into the bar. Doctors, say, the bartender says, "We don't serve doctors here." And the doctor said, "You're testing my patients." Mm -hmm. 185 doctors walk into a bar. Bartender says, "We don't serve doctors here." The doctors say, "Oh, come on, we just want a shot." <laughs> 185 neurologists, doctors walk into our bar. Says, we don't serve neurologists here. The neurologists say, we just came in for some head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you got one? No, yeah, okay. 185 cardiologists walk into bar. Bartender says, we don't serve cardiologists here. He says, come on, have a heart. Oh. <laughs> 185 doctors walk into the bar, and the bartender says, we don't serve doc doctors here. And the doctors say, Oh, well, this is your urine bowl. <laughs> 185 neurologists walk into a bar, and the bartender says, we don't serve neurologists here. And they said, you get on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get a, uh, maybe an object. Oh. A what? Water balloon. A water balloon. 185 water balloons walk into a bar. <laughs> 
185 water balloons walk into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve water balloons here. Water balloons go pshh. water balloons walk into a bar the bartender says we don't serve water balloons here and they say that makes perfect sense we're fucking water balloons <laughs> 185 water balloons walk into the bar bartender says we don't serve water balloons here and the water balloon said oh, i'm busted oh. <laughs> 185 water balloons walk into the bar and the bartender says we don't serve water balloons here and the water balloons go in your face! <laughs> 185 water balloons walk into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve water balloons here. One of them opens up and says, come on, just spike me. <laughs> okay, how about uh, a food item? Banana. 185 bananas walk into a bar. 185 bananas walk into a bar, and the bartender says, we don't serve bananas here, and the bananas say... Let's split. All right, that's our show. Yeah. Right, introduce yourself. 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 Right, introduce